So we've talked a lot about surface temperatures, and there's this really cool way that basically um, they've devised to summarize how much you need to run your heater, and they call those heating degree days, and how much you need to run your air conditioner, and they call those cooling degree days. So first starting with heating degree days. Now, I'm not sure I necessarily agree with this, but if you take as the baseline 65 degrees Fahrenheit, what you gotta do for each day is each day colder than 65 degrees Fahrenheit, you need to go ahead and do the difference and then add up all of those differences throughout the year. And what they need to do is use like historic data, like climat climactic data, basically to calculate this. So just kind of randomly, let's say that <coughs> we were at a particular location that was running 45 um, degrees Fahrenheit historically for that location. The difference between 65 degrees Fahrenheit and 45 degrees, excuse me, <laughs> subtraction, and 45 degrees Fahrenheit is 20 degrees Fahrenheit. And let's say it was like that for 10 days. So if we take that times 10, you're, you have now uh, built up 200 units. And so 200 um, heating degree days for that location. Now that's only 10 days worth and you would have to do that throughout the year. Okay, so the, the higher the heating degree days for a particular location, the more you have to run your heater. Well, then the cooling degree days is how much you need to run your air conditioner. And again, we go with 65 degrees as kind of the baseline. So if you're running a place that is uh, 90 degrees Fahrenheit for a particular time of year, and so from that we subtract 65 degrees as our base. So you're having to heat it up, um, what, 25 degrees Fahrenheit for that particular day. And let's just say that that runs for 10 days. Okay, so for those 10 days you have accumulated 250 points, 215 cooling degree days. So that's how that works. So um, I have a couple of columns here. The first column, <clears throat> aside from the city, the, co the column after the cities, is the heating degree days. So this is, this is <coughs> the higher the number here, the more you have to, <coughs> excuse me, run your heater. So I thought this was kind of neat because in Miami, Florida, they only have 149 um, heating degree days. So just barely do they have many days and degrees that are above 65 degrees throughout the year. Um, then compare that to this uh, International Falls in Minnesota, and they have, well, actually, is this even? Yeah, I should have circled Anchorage, Alaska, because that's even greater up here, isn't it? Anchorage, Alaska has, see how much they have to run their, their heater. Um, they have... Uh, 10,470 heating degree days. That's a lot. So cooling degree days, and let's stick with uh, Anchorage up here, notice that it only has three cooling degree days relative to being a cooler, excuse me, relative to having to run their air conditioner because it's warmer than 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Isn't that funny? Um, and we can compare that to, yeah, I guess we do have the highest down here. Florida was the lowest heating degree days, and it is on this list the highest cooling degree days. So notice they have to, not so surprising, uh, run their air conditioner more throughout the year. So these are uh, some maps now. They look kind of like um, isotherms, don't they? And it similar in that the color coding gives you a sense of, in this case, the number of heating degree days. So actually this dark color here is less than 1,001 heating degree days, all the way up here to this uh, blue where they have to run the heater a lot. It's greater than 9,000 heating degree days. Now as you kind of look at this, if you're like me, you kind of see the kind of the lines of latitude sort of going, but they kind of dip down here for the kind of inland or continental um, has to, they definitely, when it becomes wintertime, they don't have the moderating effect of the large body of water to um, kind of, uh, to keep them warm, basically. Um, so that's how much you need to run your heater. 
cooling degree days, how much you need to run your air conditioner. So uh, again, color coding uh, the now the where'd my thing go over here? So in this case, the dark tan is that they have more than three thousand five hundred cooling degree days, and then over here, the blue, they don't have to run their air conditioner. Um, very much. They have less than 101 cooling degree days. And um, isn't, uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting. So uh, just to kind of pull something in that's similar, it's, it's calculated to me, I think, similar to the heating degree days and cooling degree days, is this thing called a growing degree day. And it has to do with uh, plants and the different, as plants live their lives, um, uh, they grow at different rates. And it's a way to, um, to basically have a sense of when a plant is, how it's going with regard to maturing. And I thought I would just go ahead and show you this website out there. Um, it is a Wikipedia site, but in when I was looking for something to show for this, it was one of the best places. Um, the this shows a kind of a baseline of 10 degrees Celsius for plants in general, and so for instance, it says if your average, uh, if your average was uh, however many degrees from. 10 degrees, your your above 10 degrees, I guess I should say, your average temperature is, those are points you get towards your plant maturing. So if we go down here to, uh, let's see, what's it going, sugar beets. Notice that sugar beets need 130 points. They need 130 uh, um, the growing days. And so what you do is, where'd it go? What you do is for every um, day where the average is above 10 degrees Celsius, then you get those points towards the 130 uh, growing degree days. I just think that is so cool. Now, uh, in 130 growing degree days, the sugar beet will emerge. And notice, I don't know, this is kind of small, I doubt if you can see it, but in 1,400 to 1,500 growing degree days, the same plant will mature. So to me, that is just kind of very similar to the heating and cooling degree days.